Ni hao, and welcome to Chinese 1, um, week 1, lesson 1, and a kind of a review of the simple, um, kind of basic Chinese stuff. So here we go. Uh, these are the essential survival phrases that you're probably going to need in any class, and certainly when you're in Beijing or Shanghai, right? So uh, you're definitely going to need to know how to say, I'm sorry, can you say that again? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Can I borrow or may I borrow? And then how do you say X? How, in this case, how do you say cat? in Chinese, and then what does baidza mean, right? Right. So if you're talking to somebody, and they so say something you don't understand, you're going to have to, you know, communicate and say, uh, I don't get that. So um, we're jumping right in, but I did want to let you know that Chinese is a tonal language, right? So what that means is that if you say a word um, in Chinese, you can say a word, and if you use a different tone, it can have a different meaning. So... Um, English is not a tonal language, although we have inflections, right? So we can say, um, um, he's American, right? And that's more of a question versus like, he's American, which that's more of a statement, clearly, right? So in Chinese, you have four and kind of this mysterious fifth tone. So the first tone um, is monotone. It just goes across. And what your voice will do, your voice will do what these tones indicate, right? So first tone, your voice is just going to go along at a flat pace. The second tone, your voice is going to kind of rise. Uh, the third tone is going to go down and up, right? So when I remember as a little boy, I would love to mimic my dad and say like, S let's see how low my voice can go, right? So when it gets to that bottom, that's this point. So you're just going to go down and touch the bottom of your register and come back up. And then fourth tone is just really quick and it goes right down. So if we come back up to these examples, right? So that looks a lot like that. So that's fourth tone, right? So first, second, third, uh, fourth. So the first, we'll take something, um, just a simple, simple word, ma, ma. So that's M-A, ma. And it's pronounced with the four first tone. So my voice is, is doing that. Um, just simple, simple, just standard um, monotone. Ma. So you want to hold it two seconds past awkward. For native English speakers, it sounds really, or you feel awkward when you're beginning just to kind of say that. So you just want to hold it, <coughs> excuse me, two, past, two seconds past awkward. That's just kind of a rule of thumb until you get a better handle of it. Uh, second tone. So first tone again is ma, 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 right? Second tone, we're going to go up. And second tone, to be honest with you, is kind of really, it's really hard for uh, English speakers because we speak a lot in second tone. So it's harder for us to notice um, when we're speaking in second tone. So that's usually going to quickly go up, up, up. So the same ma, which was in first tone, is going to sound like ma in second tone. So ma. My voice goes up with it, ma, and the second tone is going to be represented with that little accent mark right there. So that's e, e, and that's shuo. So that's going to be the first tone, and the third tone is going to go down and up, right? So that again is going to touch the bottom of my register. So if you see this shuo, so that shuo at the bottom of my, of my voice, you can hear the uh uh. Right, so we're not the same uh, from when I was a little boy and trying to imitate my dad's really deep voice. So you want to go show, so that's going to go show. So going back to our first, ma, 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 and then our fourth tone. Fourth tone is just going to go down, it's going to go quickly down, and it's going to sound something like ma, ma. So again, you have ma, 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 ma. All right, so there's the fourth tone here, so it's bu. And it's not super um, authoritative or domineering, bu. It's not nothing like that. It's just a quick bu. So you're going to go down, and to say I'm sorry in Chinese, you're going to say bu hao yi sa. Bu hao yi sa. And that literally means I'm sorry, I'm, I'm embarrassed, I feel, I have a bad feeling. Ha qing. So that's third tone. Qing. Ni zai shuo yi ci. Now the C in Chinese is pronounced very much like 
the TS in cats, right? So cats. T -t 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 -t. So T. So here we have the C and the I, so that's going to be T. Zai shuo yi T. Right? So bu hao yi si. Qing ni zai shuo yi T. I'm sorry, can you say that again? So again, so the second one, I'm sorry, I don't get this, I don't understand. Bu hao yi si. Wo bu dong. Bu hao yi si. Wo bu dong. And then may I borrow your show ji? And then here a show ji is just a cell phone. Okay, can I borrow your phone real quick? Um Jie Ni Da Shou Ji Shirsh. Jie Ni Da Shou Ji Shirsh. So can I borrow, may I borrow your cell phone? And then super essential, especially if you're a student of Chinese, you gotta know how to say hey, how do you say that in Chinese? So Yong and again that's fourth tone. So you hear it going down. Yong, Yong, Yong. 中文, and 中文 is one of the ways to say Chinese. So, 用中文怎么说cat? So, you're literally saying using Chinese, or use Chinese, how to say cat. Makes a lot of sense, right? So, 用中文怎么说cat? 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 And last, but not least, of the essential survival phrases is 杯子是什么意思? So you're saying this, beidze, which means cup. Sure, to be, shama, what, is. So, cup is what meaning, or this word is what meaning. So all that together says, beidze, shi shama, yis. So what does beidze mean? So you can say, you can replace this beidze with something else. So you could say, uh, yizze, which is a chair, yizze, shi shama, yis. And you're asking the question, what, is, what does yizze mean? Great. Awesome.